Okay, so this is the uh, unboxing, or should I say uh, unbagging, of the, uh, the Koozie MacBook Pro Retina Display case. Ooh, ah, double plastic wrap. Hmm. Well, that'll ensure that it uh, doesn't get any scratches. Yay. Okay. I will carefully open this up. Ooh, rubberized. Looks pretty good. Looks very, uh, very nice. Oh, this uh, cover comes in its own separate wrapping. Oh, and the <laughs> All right, looks nice. No scratches, looks pretty perfect. So there are no instructions with this. I guess you just pop it on. And it looks like there are a couple of uh, lips on either side. Here's the pristine MacBook Pro with Retina. Let's keep it that way. So apparently, these little lips go over the edge, and so it is. Huh. Okay, nice. This is my first time using one of these type of cases, so... Um, interesting little foam rubber pads. They look like uh, something you might get from Home Depot or something. It might have, it might have been nicer to use some uh, more contoured rubber pads, kind of like the ones that actually come on the bottom of the Retina display itself, or uh, the uh, MacBook Pro itself, but uh, whatever. Pop, pop, there it is. Wow, looks pretty nice. Okay. And the uh, Apple shines through for those of you that must see your Apple displays. Pretty nice. Seems to fit on there snugly. Very nice feel. Still very thin. Okay. Okay, one update on the uh, Koozie case. Um, after a, about a day of using it, I noticed that there were some prickly areas on the bottom plastic piece, and uh, your palms would drag across them when you were using the keyboard. Kind of annoying. So I took a piece of fine sandpaper and smoothed out those rough edges just a little bit, and now it seems fine but um, I think I'll have to deduct a star for the additional machining required.